That's not going to work. Welcome, everyone. Um, we'd like to thank you for coming out today on behalf of um, Team Ramos. We have a uh, very special announcement um, that uh, Councilman Ramos and uh, Mr. Jeffries would like to make. We'd like to thank everyone for taking time out of their day to share with us for this announcement and thank all of your efforts on behalf of Team Ramos and the hard work that you've done which shall not be lost as we move forward. Thank you, and uh, I'd like to introduce Councilman Anibal Ramos for a few moments. that I'm proud to support uh, Shabar Jeffries for mayor and that I'm running Woo! residents of this community as mayor in a city where I was born and raised has always been my dream. However, after much reflection and soul searching, I've come to the conclusion that withdrawing from this race is what's best to move this great city in a new direction. I want to uh, sincerely thank you know, all my supporters, uh, volunteers who believed in this campaign and have worked so hard over the last eight months. From the senior citizens who volunteered in our South Ward office, who on a daily basis uh, express their concerns about public safety, to our business owners who express their frustration in dealing with city government, to the parents of children throughout the entire city of Newark who are impassioned about providing a high quality education for their kids. I know this is hard for you, just as much as it's hard for me. Running for mayor for the last few months has been a great privilege. It's given me an opportunity to meet so many wonderful people throughout the entire city of Newark who care about this city. This election was never about me. It's always been about the residents of this city. This was a difficult decision for me, but I'm proud to support Shavar Jeffries. To understand why, we need to understand what is happening to our city today. Today, Newark stands at a crossroads. Newark needs a leader who solves problems, not someone who throws bricks. Newark needs a unifier, not a divider. Newark needs a chief executive officer, 
not a protester in chief. Uh, York needs a leader who's going to tell you what they stand for, not just what they're against. Simply put, it is time for a different direction in Newark. What our residents need is a mayor with a strong and deep commitment to our city, who is not afraid to roll up his sleeves and do the hard work of rebuilding the city block by block. I believe Shavar Jeffries is that mayor. In my conversations with Shavar, I know that he shares my vision on how we can chart a new course for Newark. Together, we will set this new course. Right. Together, we can turn back the politics of old and create a new direction for our city. So Shavar, I'm proud to stand here today in support of you. I know you will be a great leader for our city, and you will make every single one of our residents proud. And to the citizens of Newark, the ones who supported me, and even the ones that didn't support me, <laughs> I'm proud of you. May God bless you, and may God bless the great city of Newark. anniversary of Newark's founding, uh, President Lyndon Johnson said, the story of Newark is America's story. Uh, it is the story of a brave people. In that vein, the story of Anibal Ramos Jr. also is America's story, a story of a resilient and courageous public servant. The councilman's parents immigrated from Puerto Rico, coming to Newark seeking better opportunities for their family. His father worked hard in a factory in the Ironbound to take care of his wife and his children. Uh, the councilman did not grow up with a silver spoon. Uh, he grew up in the Columbus Homes Projects, where his family and his neighbors emphasized the timeless values of service, hard work, and selflessness. He would go on to graduate from Our Lady of Good Counsel, and then after receiving an Educational Opportunity Fund scholarship, graduate from Rutgers University, and then later pursue graduate studies at Rutgers School of Public Administration. He could have done anything uh, with his academic preparation and experience, but he decided to dedicate himself to serving his community. He worked in the nonprofit sector at Focus, providing important services to Norkers. He worked both for the Nork Public Schools in Essex County, providing critical services to children and also to adults in need. He served two terms on the Nork School Board and also two on our Nork City Council. Councilman Ramos is a highly accomplished public servant. He is a shining role model to our youth and to others that all things are possible when one believes in their potential and is willing to work hard uh, to achieve it. It is in this context today that I am humbled and that I am deeply honored to accept his endorsement. Anibal's story is so similar to my own, and the same passion he has to serve a community that has given him so much is the same passion that motivates me as well. This endorsement today represents a partnership where we will work together, not only to win this election, but more importantly, to produce the progress in Newark that our children, family, residents, and stakeholders deserve. Together, we will move forward into the future in unity across all wards and all cultures and create the vibrant, safe, livable, and economically thriving city that our residents and our stakeholders so richly deserve. I am honored, and more important than that, as a Christian, I am blessed to work with one of our city's great public servants, Anibal Ramos, Jr., in pursuing the brighter future for the city that we both love so dearly. God bless you. God bless you, Anibal. Again, I am deeply honored to work with him and to work with everyone in this room uh, to move our city to a bright and more prosperous future. Thank you very much.
If there are any questions, please see uh, Bruno Tedeschi and or Lupe Todd. They're standing right here. And they will